In this video, we will go through the steps needed to use the GC. Start by turning on the GC and opening the nitrogen gas tank. Then, on your desktop, open the Lab Solutions software. Click on the GC icon named Uranium. Once Lab Solutions connects with the GC, go to the Methods folder and open the method 240718 Alcohol Series. Once the method is open, click on the System On icon and then press OK. On the right side, you can see the GC parameters in real time. When the SFI D1 temperature reaches more than 150 degrees Celsius, the detector can be turned on. In the Instrument Parameter View tab, all of the parameters set up in this method can be checked. The AOC-20I tab displays the parameters for the auto sampler. These parameters have already been optimized for this experiment and should not be changed. In the SPL1 tab, you can see the injector parameters. In the column information section, you can see all of the column parameters from the manufacturer. These parameters have also been optimized for this experiment and should not be changed. On the column tab, you can see the column oven temperature program. For this specific experiment, the oven ramp starts at 40 degrees Celsius with a two minute hold time and the temperature will increase at a rate of 15 degrees Celsius per minute. On the SFID1 tab, you can see the detector parameters, including its temperature, its acquisition time for the experiment as well. When you are ready to turn on the detector, meaning it, we have reached 150 degrees at a minimum, we will first open the hydrogen and air gas cylinders. We will then click on and the peak will indicate that the detector is on. The next step is to ignite the flame by clicking on for the SFID1 flame. Again, pay attention to the signal response. This signal indicates that the flame was ignited properly. When the detector achieves stability, the signal will be automatically zeroed. All three LEDs should be green, and that will indicate the GC is ready for data acquisition. To create a batch, click on Quick Batch. Click on the Open Method folder and select 240718 Alcohol Series. On Sample Type, we will select Standard plus Unknown. Then click on the Add Rows button and add seven rows. In the Vials column, we'll insert the auto sampler requisition corresponding to either our sample or our standard and make sure that the seventh sample is referencing vial one as this will act as our control. In the sample name column, the first sample we will add is the standard. Second, we will add the sample followed by a number. Then right click and select fill series to quickly add the rest. The last row can then be renamed as the control. Insert a number for sample ID, right click and again fill series. Select the sample type for each vial in the auto sampler. The three sample types we'll be working with are either standard, unknown, or control. On column method file, we'll select our method, 240718 alcohol series. Right click on the first cell of the method file col column and select fill down. In this experiment, a single point calibration is used to estimate the concentration. Only one concentration of the reference standard is used. The last five vials are all used for unknown samples. Row seven is used for continuing calibration. In this case, the standard will be analyzed again to ensure that the method remains consistent throughout the entire batch analysis. The batch should be saved in the user folder when it's completed with the desired file name. We should never be saving data to the methods folder. Once you're ready, click on start in the execution range, we will choose all rows, and then we will click on yes for real-time analysis.